Hi guys, uh, in this video I will teach you how to install uh, Ubuntu and how to make the dual boot, how to customize Ubuntu and how to optimize it and how to make the tuning for it. So Ubuntu is a Linux uh, distro, is based on Debian. But uh, the advantage in Ubuntu of uh, using Ubuntu over Debian, uh, Ubuntu uh, come with the newest, with the current stable software. So it is current and stable. So Ubuntu have uh, good support for the uh, for the new drivers. If you have a machine with the new drivers, Ubuntu is the way to go. This number one. Number two, the community behind Ubuntu is a great uh, community. You, co you can uh, go and log in to ask Ubuntu if you have any problem or a trouble. So you can ask Ubuntu and you can find a solution there. They are friendly. It is the alternative of uh, Arch community because I was before working with Arch community and they are very toxic community. Uh, community. They are bastard and they are... Um, disrespect if i saw them face to face i would shoot them in the face yeah so ubuntu does number three uh colonica Kono. let's go to ubuntu website ubuntu now load so uh yes Kono. uh Kono. Cano. Canonical is the company that sponsors uh, Ubuntu. It's a great uh, company. For example, they have uh, this nice uh, philosophy. We have uh, in Linux, we have this all the mentality. We say that uh, when, and I, I believe now this is uh, wrong that uh, that in order to make Linux winning, that uh, Microsoft must lose. And this is wrong. This is uh, Steve Jobs' uh, mentality. Steve Jobs, he believed in order to Apple win, then IBM must die. In order to America win, then uh, China must be disappear. In order to Nazi Germany win, Hitler, Nazi Germany win, then all Europe must be F up. All the world must be F. This is wrong. In order, for example, to America win, then we have to build walls rather than bridge. Because we built too many walls, but not enough bridges. And what, whatever, what, uh, whatever we do in Linux uh, community, we cannot beat Microsoft. It's impossible. 99% of the desktop in the world is, uh, is run by Microsoft, by Windows, Windows user. Linux is failed on the desktop. Linux is good for server, but not for desktop, not for desktop. Linux is for professional computer scientists and uh, high skilled people or medium skilled, but not for desktop environment. So the mentality, for example, Arch mentality or Debian mentality, they believe that in order to Debian win, Linux win, then we have to destroyed Microsoft and you cannot destroy Microsoft. It's like this wall. If I, uh, if I punch this wall by my head, I will break my head. Ubuntu or co uh, Canonical, the company, no, they have another, another way. For example, uh, in Linux, they teach us that uh, NVIDIA is not uh, user friendly. No, it's not true because NVIDIA has worked very well in Ubuntu. It's worked very well. Debian is not friendly with the and the people who want to contribute uh, the code or who want to contribute to the driver in the kernel in Debian, they reject it by the, by Debian. Debian uh, wage a war against the de developer and the programmer who want to develop a nice code, a nice drivers, you know, nice software drivers in uh, the kernel. It's rejected. Even in the documentation, in the uh, in the manual, when I read the manual in, in Debian and I follow the code, it's not work. Because they reject, they make, uh, you know, they make uh, like a mobs. 
they sit 20, 20 psycho developer, like my professor, the professor bitch, you know, they, uh, they sit and they vote. And they vote for everything that harm the users. I want to enjoy NVIDIA. I want to make video editing uh, with NVIDIA. And uh, is it this against uh, the free and the freedom? So you, why you don't respect my freedom of using NVIDIA? Why you don't respect the freedom of the developer who want to contribute into the kernel uh, for, uh, for making driver for NVIDIA in your Debian? Why Ubuntu success in using uh, uh, NVIDIA? Why Manjaro success in using NVIDIA? Why uh, Linux Mint success in using NVIDIA? Why Pop, uh, Pop OS success? All these, they are uh, Linux distro. And uh, NVIDIA has worked perfect on this Linux distro. Why uh, system? 76 success in using NVIDIA. Why Debian reject NVIDIA? Why? Because this is a mentality, old mentality. In order to Debian win, then NVIDIA, NVIDIA, the NVIDIA must die. No, it's not working like that, guys. 2020, 2020 is not uh, the Nazi Germany. And you say, you say free and freedom. Linux is for free and freedom. So where is my freedom? Now, the vast majority of the machine has come with NVIDIA. Now I have a trouble to find a, a machine that run quad core without NVIDIA. So quad core i7 generation CPU, it must have a, a, it must have this machine, it must include a secret uh, graphic, NVIDIA. So when you, when you do that, when you do that, when you do that, I talk with Debian now. When you, when you do that, you minimize the popularity of, uh, of, uh, of Linux. People start hate Linux because of your bad mentality and because of this tox uh, toxic, the developer. This is 12 developer and they vote. So instead of uh, now, instead now instead of debate, why you reject the uh, the Linux developer who want to work to develop a code to develop drivers for NVIDIA, Debian? Why you reject them? Why Ubuntu did that? Accept them. Why Ubuntu work friendly with NVIDIA? Why Manjaro work friendly with NVIDIA? Why Linux? And I, uh, I, many, many distro. They work very, very friendly. Uh, Solos, Solos distro work very, very perfect. Very, very fine with NVIDIA. Even Fedora. True that is not uh, NVIDIA. Not you have to install. You have to enable the non-free repository from the kernel. But it's work. At least it's work, but with Debian, whatever you do is not work. And uh, last, and as I told you, my XPS 15 is destroyed because of Debian, because you put fake, fake documentation. You mislead the people. I trust you, Debian, I will, and I love you, but uh, you mislead me. I went to your uh, manual, Debian manual, and I follow the steps. In the end, I uh, I destroy the, the graphic card. I sent my, now I sent my deal to eBay repair and I pay 180 and I'm still waiting. I am not sure if they will repair it or not. It destroyed the logic uh, board. So therefore, Debian in this case is good. Manjaro also is good, but Manjaro uh, not uh, good for server because uh, Arch-based system has been uh, is a rolling release. So the, uh, Ubuntu is good, Linux Mint is good, okay? And uh, now I teach you how to install uh, Ubuntu. So here you go to the page and you press download. And uh, download, uh, you, you save it, for example, in the desktop because I have it, and you make the download. Then you go to Rufus. Rufus. Dot I, then you download Rufus. Then you run Rufus. Then you insert. 
sorry, you insert the USB. Okay. Then you select the OSB, for example, this OSB. Then you select the operating system, the Ubuntu. Okay. From the desktop, for example, this Ubuntu, you select it. Okay. Then you make a start. And uh, the file system has to be FAT32. And start, next, next, next. Then you finish. When you finish, you close this guy. Okay. You close this guy. Then you go to computer management. Computer management. Storage. Snap. Here, for example, I want to install it uh, here. Yeah, this is Debian. This is the. Huh? So I shrink a volume. Shrink volume. For example, I want to make it uh, 70 gig for the Ubuntu. This way. Okay, so 70 gigabyte. 70, 1, 2, 3. 70,000, it means 70,000 MB, then 70 gig of RAM. Shrink. Just wait. Take some while. Let me optimize the, the drive. Now it's shrinking. So 99%, 96%. Look, it's shrinking. And shrunk. Okay, done. So now this is oh, it is six. Why six gigabytes? Extend. So shrink. Seven zero one two three. Where is the problem here? And the shrink is cancel. Let's shrink from here. We cannot shrink it from here. Optimize 
بگم Let's see. Let's try again to shrink it. Shrink. So we make it 80,000. 80, okay, now it's shrink. We shrink it. Okay. So we have it here. Here we will install Ubuntu. So now we have the USB, this, the USB for the Ubuntu, long-term support. And we have the, the allocated drive. Here we will install Ubuntu. Now, in the, now I have to reboot and press F12 to go to the boot menu and to enter to the Ubuntu Live via the USB. In the menu, there is Ubuntu Live. You have to see the, your USB, then you, you enter to the Ubuntu Live, okay? Let me close this, close this. So see you in the next part. So now we insert the USB here. Okay, now we reboot the system. And we press F12. So we go to the USB, this. Look, this option. Press enter and here you go to Ubuntu and now we will go to the Ubuntu Live. Look, Ubuntu Live. Okay, see you in the next part. Hello guys, so now we are in the Ubuntu. Let me just make it a little bit better. Okay, now we are in the Ubuntu Live version and now we want to install the Ubuntu. So we press this icon, double click. Continue, continue, here normal installation, minimal installation, and here download update, by the way, it's better to go offline, when you install 
anything is better to turn this network off and you go offline install so this will not install the update and install the third party this is good minimal installation install the third party continue install Ubuntu along alongside no it's better to go here something else continue now we have all the partitions so the free partitions that we created is this this is the EFI of window and the root of window and this is the EFI of Debian and the root of Debian and here the the new allocated partition double click on it so first my philosophy of installing any operating system I prefer two partition only I don't like swap I don't like the recovery partition I don't like the reserve partition only two partition not six partition not 20 partition you you don't need the discotheque no keep it simple Unix philosophy is keep it simple in Windows Windows come with four partition after the installation I remove two partition and I merge them with the EFI partition so I have now in my windows as you see I have two partitions for window Debian same thing Linux uh, Arch Linux same thing Ubuntu same thing two partition the EFI partition and the root partition so the EFI partition I make it 600 MB okay and here I select EFI file system EFI file system and press OK so this is EFI file system again go to the free space double click and this is the root partition it must be ext4 leave it as it is then here you put the root this the root sign press OK and it's created okay it's created root the AFI partition and the the root partition where you install the operate the operating system your home all your home everything it will be in the root and the AFI the the boot boot and root boot 600 and the rest root so two partitions always make it two partitions not four partitions not five partitions you don't need a swap you don't need recovery data because all these partition it take energy it take power from your uh, f uh, it's, it's minimize your computing power and it's too complicated to secure them if you have if you keep it simple you can secure your system if you keep it if you make it complex then the complexity of the uh, of the security it will be increased exponentially double 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 so I make it two partition now install now continue as we says we prefer to continue offline so not in New York okay keep it New York after that we change the time here my name Haider Jeffer and computer name Ubuntu and password okay continue and uh, let it go so here we install the uh, Ubuntu so let's uh, look at uh, the kernel so yeah. so we have the uh, 5.3 kernel in Debian by default it's come with the 4.19 it's very very old kernel so here a new kernel a new the newest stable kernel because the uh, Ubuntu I think is based on Debian testing so they took the packages and the drivers from the Debian testing and they maintained them colonical the great company that ever exists in Linux uh, world the greatest you know it's the greatest company they are very intelligent people because they are Britain they are Windsor so they took the these packages they are you know they said why we reinvent the wheel 
why we put our neck under, under the sword of the stupidity of Debian. So we took the packages, we maintained them. We have a good relationship with, with Fedora, uh, with, um, with NVIDIA. We have the better relationship with Microsoft. So we took the packages and they say Debian is free and they expect free. So we maintain the packages, we optimize the packages and uh, we run them and let all the users enjoy the freedom and the liberty, the true freedom. So if you are, uh, if you love, uh, if you like uh, uh, NVIDIA, like 99% of the world, they use NVIDIA. So they respect your freedom. They didn't uh, make your life miserable. La miserabilia. You know that the movie, miserable. You make you suffer and that. So they took the, look, the newest kernel. And it's uh, fully uh, customizable. After that, I will talk about uh, the snap issue. I have only one problem with the with Ubuntu is the snap issue, the snap issue, and it's secure by design, secure by design, and uh, it is nice. So let's see LSB. Please, yes. we finish that. After that, continue testing. So now the installation finished, now we want to continue testing on us. R, I think. Yes, it is open 2.4. Uh, Let me make A. Let's see the full version. Yes, we have Ubuntu. We have Ubuntu 18.4 Bionic, the code name. The next release, it will be uh, maybe three days, four days, the 20. And it's lo long term support. The, the, the end of the support of this version is the end at uh, 2023. So now we finish the, the installation. Now we have to reboot our system and we continue. Okay guys, see you in the next part. So now we will uh, reboot uh, our system. So we write uh, sudo. Reboot, press enter, no, sudo, sudo, reboot, press enter, and the system will be reboot. Okay. So look, uh, this is the interface. So the first is Ubuntu, advanced for Ubuntu. Windows Manager, then Debian, then Advanced for Debian. So we have triple boot. So now we have to reboot to Ubuntu. And after that, I will change this uh, user interface. I will make it black and I make this, uh, this text bigger and I customize it to make it behave in the way I like. Okay. So now we reboot to Ubuntu. Now we press our password and now when we are in Ubuntu. So in this part I will teach you how to in the next part I will teach you how to customize Ubuntu to make it behave in the way you like. So no let uh, let the, uh, since we done so here first thing you, uh, you see this pop up uh, windows make next next Privacy, don't send information because there is a people says blah, 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 blah about uh, spying. Okay, you don't want spying. This is uh, don't send information. And let's see what is the, so here, here's the order information that uh, they, you send information about your uh, Lenovo, vendor Lenovo, CPU information. Uh, CPU, uh, the threat information, core information, stock information, blah 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 information. All this is not uh, private information, it's general information to improve the company. Okay, if you don't want to send, don't send. Make next and done. So, in the next video, in the next part, I will teach you how to customize Ubuntu. So, now we are we installed successfully uh, Ubuntu and now we are uh, in the in Ubuntu. So first thing we have to open the terminal.
find type sudo apt update always before you do anything and sudo apt upgrade okay so he said that uh, there is uh, something uh, to remove uh, this uh, so to remove this uh, then the following uh, automatic install are not longer required so you have to remove this so to remove this just type sudo apt auto remove press enter and yes now the system is ready to go so now first thing to do we cause uh, we uh, we secure uh, the we secure uh, Ubuntu so we go to file I have some secret data collection we open data collection and we copy this code I will put you the code in the description below control C copy open terminal control V enter your password yes yes so let's see the application okay now it's clean we clean the application now uh, we install this for example uh, to to make a video identity for your video for example now my video let's go to the downloads this video has no identity or let's go to let me show you for example in window i go to windows then i go hider hider enter desk so this my so look my video had has no identity so to make a video identity we go here we copy this command to make a thumbball thumb uh, thumbnails for the for your videos so we choose this control c terminal control v enter yeah it's done look now we have video identity now we're done with this again we didn't finish yet with the video and now uh, we have uh, to remove the app report so you copy this command open to report report past it here enter yes enter remove the popcorn enter and remove remove the upport yes and it's removed now remove the snap packages because I don't use a snap and I uh, I, I don't like snap I prefer flat pack so to remove completely the snap control C here uh, you copy these commands three commands now so first command one by one copy first one paste it in the terminal enter copy the second command paste it in the terminal press enter yes enter and uh, it's removed now the last command to refresh the catch okay enter now we remove this 
now we close and I put all these three commands in the description below now we're done with this okay now we go to driver driver so here a uh, United States we change it to main server your password enter close reload and wait uploading the catch okay now you go to after you do this you make sudo apt get update let's see if everything is go right sometimes you get error so you uh, redo the redo the procedure again and again until everything uh, going uh, right after that we solve this problem also okay so now we are go to the driver again now select source code password go to other software select canonical partner go to update daily never sorry never display immediately display immediately authentication additional driver let's see if additional driver here if you have nvidia it's easy immediately you can install nvidia now i have no nvidia look so now we, uh, we have the driver now we close this we make the reload and we're done close this window close this we have to restart our system so see you in the next part so now we reboot uh, the system and uh, let's see the information so new name now so we are in the kernel 5.3 so now let us start the customization let us start the customization so first thing we have to install the tweak sudo apt install gnome tweaks and the chromium browser chromium press enter chromium chromium browser okay So now close the terminal, open tweak. Now, as I told you, I want to disable the animation to make it faster. Disable the animation. Now make it uh, Advita dark. Now it's Advita dark. Now the pointer is white. I want to make it black. And this is the pointer now is black. This after that we, we continue. The font, make it bigger, 6, uh, top bar, disable application menu, enable battery, and uh, enable clock date. So we have the clock date and the battery, okay? Works, workspace, and here we make it 1, and uh, mouse middle okay so now let's close this window let's open terminal uh oh so look here there is uh, some icon error to solve this error we have to install the full uh, advita uh, theme 
look this is some bug so to solve this bug you have to install uh, Aduka so sudo I think app install gnome icon team fold I think like that fold maybe it's right maybe it's wrong no gnome icon team Install. Let's uh, search in the in the browser. Run. Change it to English. Let's see uh, manual. Yeah, this is. install so full minus here let's see no okay finish let's see gnome icon team okay so let's uh, copy paste the command there is a wrong here so let's make the update again maybe we make uh, some mistake in the update I can see has no country I think uh, full add drive term gnome team and install. Not Tigno, Adwaita. Okay. So now write sudo apt apt install Adwaita icon team full. Press enter and now it's installed. So now we have when we open the the terminal again, this you see this guy, it will be disappear. It will make it nicer look we come this is the references so now we finish uh, we finish from here close it close it and close it now we want uh, I want to rebuild the, lin the Linux Ubuntu Linux uh, user interface from the scratch for example I don't like this I want to customize this and I don't like the top bar so I want to remove this and I want to remove this and I want to install the origin uh, vanilla gnome so first we remove this guy so we write I will show you that uh, the secret that we, uh, we create so we write file and uh, um, remove doc so for example here in setting you will see the doc this is the doc I want I don't want I don't like this I want to remove that the doc I don't like this I want to make it uh, origin GNOME so here we have the, the command with the purge yes purge this command auto remove purge so we copy this command we open the terminal we paste it here press enter 
the password yes so now we go to the setting again document let's close it setting look it's uh, disappeared so now when we reboot let us reboot and see what's happened okay let us reboot so now we reboot the system look it's disappeared the doc is disappeared okay um, now let's uh, uh, continue the customization the user interface let us in install the the vanilla gnome the vanilla gnome so let me show you first So to build uh, the boot, uh, or to, to, uh, to build a, a boot, there is a package uh, named uh, Vanilla GNOME. So we have to install the Vanilla GNOME. I have the file, and I will show you in the link uh, below. So write Vanilla GNOME. So Vanilla Session, this, the Vanilla Session. We install the Vanilla Session. Open Terminal, type the command. Yeah. Now we go here. We pass the command. And now we have to choose the vanilla. Number one. Okay. Choose number one. Now we installed the vanilla session. We, when we reboot the system, look what happened. We, we reboot uh, the system. Let's see. Reboot. Now we have the GNOME session. This is the GNOME session. We make it bigger here you go text it larger so now it is larger okay this also not enough for me I want to make this all black and I want to remove the Ubuntu logo so now we log in to Ubuntu and let's continue the tutorial so now I will reboot the system to look to watch what happened Okay. No, oh, sorry. Let me go from the here because I reboot from terminal. Let me reboot from user interface. Reboot. After that, also I will change the uh, uh, the uh, the play mode, the boot logo, to make it very clean and very simple. Dark, black. Go. Voila, now everything is dark. After that, we will remove the Ubuntu logo. You see this Ubuntu logo? We will remove it. Look, it's become faster. So now, when I reboot the system, look, this Ubuntu logo and this maroon color. And this is the boot menu, red color, and also here the the maroon color, and this the first uh, look screen, the maroon color, and this I want all to change, and this the Ubuntu logo. Look, this is the Ubuntu. I want all. Uh, I want to change all, and I want to build all these from the scratch. So what I have to do now, I go to my account and keep watch so i will show you how i built the boot so now we open the terminal and uh, so now we are in the gnome shell 
okay in the gnome shell so you write sudo gedit and you pass gnome shell press enter and this will be open so we have to modify the code so we have to search for lock sorry look dial so look dialog group and this is the color the stupid color the maroon and the red so we remove this okay and type six zero one two three four five six save close now second one the ubuntu theme shell control copy control c to copy write sudo g edit space control v press enter control f press look dialog and this is the look dialog the background of the look dialog you remove it because all these you know this png text and all these will make your uh, computer slow remove it and you make it just solid color black one two three one two three six zero save close now let's uh, reboot and let's see what's happening So now we uh, the look screen we remove all the plotted we remove all the image and the text and we make it dark we now we want to modify it more we want to remove to to modify the the the, the, the bootloader and we make we want to make it faster so i have a, a secret and I will give it for you, play mouse, okay? So we have this uh, secret. Just copy paste it. Copy paste it. Copy paste it. press enter now you choose number one the spinner look this guy my sorry this guy spinner play mouse so you choose press enter uh, pr press one enter okay now you copy these two commands to modify the spinner to modify the spinner but you copy this command as a super user so sudo minus i enter now copy this command press enter now go to the file in the file you go to other router you go to the computer type play mouse play mouse so play mouse with two here so here the ubuntu logo remove them shift delete then you press enter now it is removed go to themes from themes go to spinner from spinner go to spinner dot play mouse press it here you change it from your rem uh, here background and you type six zero one two three one two three here one two three one two three six six and you have to save it save close it now you go to the group to modify the group and the command to modify the group also i'll put it uh, down for you the group the group this is the group you modify the group by typing this command sudo g uh, sudo g edit etc default group Control c copy open terminal Control v paste enter password enter so now this is the group so remove the code from here 
until the group CMD line Linux remove it and remove the code from here to here do exactly what I did and here quiet splash okay so save the code control s save the code control q close the the window then update the group sudo update minus group press enter and the group now will be updated now update the play mode so to update the play mode type this command then to france type it here and this the other command and pass it press enter Okay, let's reboot and let's see what's happened to our system.